Hey guys, um, I just thought I would post a quick video because today I kind of want to focus a little bit on um, body positivity and so I thought I would make a little video to kind of talk about what that means to me and, and what I'm hoping it means to you and it's something that I really encourage in, uh, in these groups and just in life in general because I feel like there's already so many things working against women and people, humans in general that uh, we might as well not add to it by being incredibly hard on ourselves and, and uh, the way we look and feel about our bodies. So it's something that I always encourage is, is to appreciate um, the way that you are and, and what your body does for you every day and, and the fact that nobody is the same and nobody is perfect and it's never going to um, ever be that way. And I wanted to talk about um, kind of how you can retrain your brain to think more positively about your body and obviously this eating healthy and uh, working out is going to help you feel more confident in um, in the way you look and feel um, about yourself and uh, also with this supportive network with the relationships that I'm hoping to build is that we're all supporting each other to be more positive about ourselves because we are honestly our biggest criticizer criticizers I'm not sure if that's a word but anyways you know we are our biggest critics sorry that's the word that I was looking for and uh, we can blame other people lots of people do unfortunately body shame but ultimately we are the ones that decide how we feel about um, about ourselves and and what we're hearing on a daily basis and what your inner voice is telling you and uh, to change that after being probably um pretty hard on yourself at, for a long time can be an extremely hard thing to do. And so I want us all to be focusing today and on an ongoing basis on really supporting each other in, um, uh, in building each other up and creating this more healthy image of ourselves um, and not being so concerned with where you're at in comparison to other people. I'm not sure if you've ever heard the saying, comparison is the thief of joy. And what when I say that, what I mean by it is that... Um, when you're comparing yourself to somebody else and where they're at in their journey, uh, it can really bring you down on your own confidence if they're a little bit further ahead of you or maybe they're doing things a little bit differently in a way that you haven't thought of um, that you feel might work better for you. And comparing yourself to that person and where they are is only going to slow you down as you get discouraged in, uh, in your own uh, adventure. So um, I just wanted to remind you that uh, don't not to compare your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 20. And I'm sure that's a quote that you guys might've heard uh, at some point or another, but um, it's something that I really feel passionately about because this journey isn't about anybody except for yourself. Of course, it's going to translate into other aspects of your life and how you are with your family and your friends and, and what you do. Probably it might affect some of your hobbies or like you might be more open to going for hikes and that opens a whole new array of people. But I wanted you, I want you to focus on the fact that this journey is about you and how you want to feel about yourself, which is probably confident, um, happy with how you, how you look and feel, um, eager to learn new things, whether it's about food or, or your fitness levels and, uh, and to challenge yourself. And those are kind of things that we should be focusing on, um, on developing throughout the, the next little while and on an ongoing basis. It's, it um, really makes it a lot easier to make a lifestyle change when you kind of narrow it down to what do I need to do to be, to be happy with who I am. And it's not about anybody else. You need to think about what's going to make, make you happy on the inside with with who you are and and how you are um and some people it takes a lot to admit to yourself that one you're hard on yourself and two you might be one of the people that is hard on um on on other people as well so to be able to admit that and say you know like I'm seeing where I'm not building people up and I might be bringing them down and acknowledging that and taking accountability is a huge huge task to take on and it can be extremely difficult to um to to take responsibility for that. Um, and so changing that 
um, line of thinking and whether it's about yourself or about other people and and how it affects you and impacts your life and realizing how it impacts your life is really um, important and really is going to contribute to this journey because as you change your way of thinking especially about yourself but also about other people and building other people up you're really going to see an increase in your confidence, probably in your support networks, um, in your ability to to talk yourself out of a low situation. If you're feeling really down on yourself, you're going to develop skills to uh, to to improve how you are feeling, um, in and a lot quicker. Because a lot of people I know that one of the big big struggles, especially with nutrition, I'm finding, um, is that people they get down on themselves and they get discouraged with where they're at and that opens this whole new cycle of I'm not good enough there's no point in me trying anymore I'm giving up I'll start again tomorrow which turns into next week which turns into next month and then it's this ongoing cycle of being disappointed in yourself for not doing what you told yourself you were going to do so being a little bit more positive about um what you are capable of doing and what your body has been doing for you over the last little while is going to be a huge con- contrib- contributor to um, to your end result and how fast you bounce back. It's okay to, to fall off the wagon and admit that you fell off and that you are having trouble getting back on and reaching out for support. All of those things are totally okay as long as you are prepared to jump right back on. And it might be a couple days for you, depending on on where you are mentally, emotionally, physically even. Sometimes it can have an impact on your physical, um, your physical capabilities. But um, it's okay to take that time as long as you aren't allowing yourself to get stuck in this mindset that I am not good enough and there's no point in me even trying because I'm not going to be successful. Thoughts like that are really going to hinder you because you're not going to work up the motivation to to get back on on the wagon and keep going. Whereas if you start to kind of retrain your brain to think when you fall off and you take a break for a couple of days or whatever, instead of saying like, I'm not good enough for this and I'm not going to be able to do it. So there's no point in trying. Try thinking about it like this. You know, I allowed myself a break because I know that that's what I needed in this moment. And this is about me. And now I'm ready to get up and start again. And it doesn't matter what happened in the last two days, but here I am, I'm starting fresh. And that's a huge thing um, to be able to do. And that's one of the skills that I'm hoping people develop as they are in this challenge group, because I, um, I never want anybody to feel like they aren't able to be successful because they, they gave up for a couple days or they took a break because that uh, is by no means true. I mean, I was a constant quitter and restarter and quitter and restarter and quitter and restarter. And then finally I restarted and it stuck and I've been going at it on a fairly consistent basis, but I'm doing this challenge again, as you know, to kind of get myself back on track. And I realized that I'm holding myself accountable and I'm bringing other people to support me alongside and so that I can offer support to other people as well. So by acknowledging that I'm able to um, kind of, take accountability, take responsibility and ownership for what I've been doing. But I'm also um, addressing that even though I I messed up and I fell off the wagon a little bit, I'm not giving up and this isn't the end for me. And I know that. Whereas before it would have been probably the end for me for, I don't know, like two months, maybe three or more. Sometimes it was a year that I would not do anything at anything at all physical. And, uh, and then now I'm in a place where I can take a couple days break, like the Thanksgiving weekend. I took three, four days off, four days off working out, and my nutrition, of course, was not um, was not the greatest. But you know, it was pretty, it was pretty reasonable reason why it wasn't. But I, after that, previously, after a weekend like that, I would have been done for for however long. Now I can jump back on and I can say, you know what, I'm starting fresh. It's okay. I'm not feeling guilty about that because I rewarded my body. I appreciate what my body has been doing for me. And I know that I'm going to get back to this place, this place of healthiness because I'm motivated. Um, And kind of seeing myself in that light, because that brings up another good point. Some people feel incredibly guilty and they feel shame when they, um, when they're falling when they feel as though they're falling behind 
And that is by no means, I never want anybody to feel guilt and shame for what for eating a meal that you really, really wanted and that was delicious, but not the most healthy, or for drinking one more beer than whatever. I never want anybody to feel guilty or shame because that's life and that happens and you deserve to enjoy life and not be incredibly strict on yourself. Um, if you miss a workout, don't feel guilt or shame or like you're a failure ever because that's going to just hinder your progress and it's going to keep you down and it's not going to make you want to get up and start again. What I want is for people to say, you know what, like that beer that I drank last night, it was delicious and awesome, but it probably, it wasn't a health, the healthiest choice that I could have made. So today I'm going to do better and tomorrow I'm going to do better. And then you might have a cheat day, have a delicious meal that is not the healthiest, but you know, you can acknowledge that and say, that was awesome. I rewarded myself for doing so great. And now I'm going to hop back on the wagon and get back to that healthy place. So just things like that and how we speak to other people about the way they look. I've been seeing a lot of videos about um, the younger audience, like how we portray ourselves to young, especially young girls, but also it's starting to become an issue with young males as well when we're looking at ourselves in the mirror and pointing out all our flaws and our daughters or nieces or little sisters are seeing that and they're then they're starting to say like, oh, well, this is what's wrong with me. This, I don't look good here. I have this acne. And they get all these ideas that, that they aren't good enough from an extremely young age. So keeping that in the back of your mind, when you're looking at yourself and criticizing every little bit of you that is actually incredibly beautiful, um, it's going to make a huge difference for you and for the those younger um people who are influenced by your actions as well. And so that's why I always talk about being body positive and and empowering each other. And there's never any reason why we need to ever bring anybody down. We always want to be um, lifting people up with us. So anyways, that's my little 12 minute clip for today. And I wanted to reinforce that you guys are all doing great. Um, I know it's pretty early on in the challenge, but I want to remind you guys that, that this is a hard thing to do. And the fact that you're still here Um, and still participating is a really amazing thing. And and I wanted to thank you for that because it really, it means a lot for me. And if you ever have any questions, need any support outside of the group, you can message me at any point in time. So have a great day.